What's up guys, Romsko here, back with another video, and today we've got some exclusives from Cherry themselves. They've sent me over their new sleeper keyboard, which they revealed at CES this year. And why it's called a sleeper keyboard is because on the outside it looks like a regular office keyboard, but on the inside it's a full-fledged mechanical keyboard. This is supposed to be the successor of the G83000, which was their original keyboard a few years ago, which had the MX Blue switches. But this one has MX Blacks and MX Red switches because silence is their thing. I don't know what they sent me in here, but let's take a look inside the box and check out the new MX Board Silent. So this is the box that it comes in, and the big reveal for what they sent me is the great keyboard. Oh my gosh. Now you know why I call it a sleeper keyboard, right? I mean, look at this. It has a 1990s gray computer look to it, and it somehow ages it like it was made 20 years ago just by the color alone. Also inside the box are some manuals and a USB to PS2 adapter. To be fair, the original, like the real OG keyboard, was made in 1988, but Cherry, it's 2017. Keep up with the times, man. This keyboard's also available in a stealth black, which is probably the color most people will be going towards because I doubt there's that many people with a setup that can match this gray color. Not to mention all the other reasons down this video why you won't be getting this keyboard anyways. So yeah, this is the MX Board Silence, Cherry's newest keyboard. Now you might be thinking, why does it look so bland and bulky? Well, the target of this keyboard is specifically for the office space and I think that's all you need to know about it. Why it's so bulky beats me, but it seems like Cherry wanted to go real classic on it rather than have the standardized size. And this does have a stereotypical office kind of look to it from like the 1990s, and the exterior itself is pretty much theft repellent, that's for sure. So this keyboard is rocking the MX Black switches, and here is a quick sound test because it's different from the rest. If you're someone who isn't familiar with mechanical keyboards, you might not be able to hear the difference, but if you are familiar with them, you'll come to realize that the typing experience on this mechanical keyboard is extremely quiet, especially for those who are MX Black keyboard users. And here's the reason why. Taking a look inside the keyboard, the first thing you'll see is that the switches are PCB mounted. So only the base of the switch is connected to the board, while traditional mechanical keyboards like those of Corsair and Razer are plate mounted. And with that, the PCB is way down below the switch and extremely far from the keycap itself. So even if you bottom out your keys, there won't be a significant sound difference between pressing the key versus bottoming it out. Since these are linear keys, there's no click from the switch, so the only sound made is the clack of the keyboard which is the sound you make when you bottom out a keycap. Here's an example of a regular linear keyboard with a clack. And here is the silent clack from the MX Board Silent. Clearly, they've mastered the feature of typing silently pretty well. Since the switches are PCB mounted, you also have the ability to swap your switch stems, which is pretty rare in most keyboards on the market. To take apart the switch, you'll need a tool like a hooked tweezer, and then gently lift the switches from both sides. After the latches are released, the top cap can be taken off and you'll see the switch stem, in this case the black switch, and the spring that's associated with resistance and the amount of strength you need to activate a key press. You can of course mix and match springs and switches, and when you're done replacing them, just place them back in and pop the cap top back on. Because you have the ability to swap switches on your keyboard now, you can buy sets of key switches online so you don't have to buy more keyboards just to experience different types of key switches. There's nothing special about the keycaps, just your regular average pad printing, which means you can feel the printing on your keys. The feet are pretty basic, just a flip foot with no click to keep it in place, but it does have a nice rubber tip for good traction. 
As for the LED indicators, it's pretty simple. It's got nice blue LEDs for your num lock, caps lock, and scroll lock, and would look pretty great on the black model. Overall, I think that MX Board Silent is a pretty cool keyboard with its classic look and silent typing feature, but you might be thinking, how much is this keyboard though? You might be thinking maybe $50, $60 just because it has mechanical switches, but that's not the case. The MSRP for this keyboard, this keyboard, get this, is $150 USD. $150 USD. What? What the f You know what you can get with $150? You can get a Razer Black Widow Chroma for the same price. This keyboard doesn't even have backlighting. Keycaps are pretty regular. The size is ridiculous. It's almost 9 inches wide. That's ridiculous. Even your grandpa has a better mechanical keyboard than this. All seriousness aside, I guess for the keyboard price, for $150, you're paying for some keyboard security because there's no way someone's going to steal this because, I mean, look how bulky it is. And even if you saw this in a computer lab or left it in your office, no one will realize this is a mechanical keyboard, let alone a $150 keyboard. But one thing I can say for sure about this keyboard is that it's definitely great for the office space, which is what it was built for. It's got a quiet typing experience and you have that typing satisfaction of mechanical switches. Thanks for watching this video guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.